super heavy box. Metal storage cabinet. What do we got going on here? Made in China. Great. Instructions that I won't understand in more ways than one. Please open carefully. Returns will only be accepted in original packaging. Okay, we don't want to destroy the box. Let's go inside and see what's going on here. What's going on? Here we have it. Started this last night. Had to give it up, come back to it this morning. Instructions that are mainly pictures. We're finishing the bottom feet right now. And it's going to go in the corner. I am stoked. Still got to get the doors on. And there's five shelves. Woo. Getting down to the finish line here. Yeah, this is definitely the easiest part of this whole contraption. This is a 72 foot tall cabinet. I think it's about, I don't know, 15 inches or so deep, 32 inches wide. Woohoo. This was uh, step number eight. We've got seven more steps to go. Oh my goodness. Everything is well marked. They even provided you a screwdriver and a couple extra pieces, which is very cool. You don't see very often. And I'm going to be standing this sucker up now and see how it fits. Coffee definitely helps the job. Live in the moment. 72 inches, not 72 feet. Like I said in the last video. Oh my goodness. And this is funny. I saw this last night. Times two. Okay. I think that would be me and Jesus. Time to stand this thing up. Oh, and those legs down here, or these little feet, that's just if you're putting this outdoors where the uh, ground is unlevel or maybe in a garage. This is going to be my craft cabinet. It looks like an absolutely perfect fit. And I love when this happens right beyond the outlet. Now, I probably will move the desk down just a tad because of the doors. But overall, 72 inches tall, about 15 inches deep, 32 inches wide. I am really excited. Putting the little metal clips in now for the shelves. I'm going three down from the dot here. I'm hoping that they're going to all be even, you know, evenly spaced, at least for now. I'm sure I'll rearrange this 20 times. So we got one, two, three, and then you stick the little curved part and it flips right down. Awesome. I don't think I'm counting this right. Actually, I didn't count all these, so I'm going to count these and then divide it by five because I feel like this shelf is too high and too narrow. But they do go in really easy. What I'm missing here. There is 63 slots, and if you divide that by five, you get 12.6. I don't know, guys. Put in the comments. Can you see where these are supposed to go for evenly spaced? Give me words, guys. Yes, I'm a visual, but I need words. Oh, my gosh. Chinese directions, right? All right. We'll figure this out. So I brought the first one down to the ninth little place because we've got this up here going on. And then there's 10 slots between each one now. And my bigger consideration is if my tallest basket would fit in here and it's gonna fit super nice. So for now, I played around. 12 was too much between each one because it gave me a very narrow wasted space on the bottom and where you don't need a shelf. I think I got it where I want it. Woo! Oh, I love it. What do you think, guys? Organization. 
at its finest. So we've got two shelves here that are like 13 slots for each one. And then two that are evenly spaced on top and two evenly spaced on the bottom. I am really happy with this. All right, let's get those doors on, doors and done. Plus this mess here to organize. But I'm gonna take my time with this and play around till I get it exactly how I want it. Okay. If you wanna feel like an idiot, <laughs> put something together from China. Or is it just me? I did not pay attention. Install the door by first installing the door pin R. Well, I ignored these guys, and I thought R was up here at the top as I reversed things. And then spring screws missing. You can find the screw W, and here's W, but it wasn't missing. Oh, my gosh. So we got the pin in at the bottom. Yeah. And the spring at the top, easy peasy, but took me 20 minutes to figure out. Go figure. All right, I put these little metal caps on right up here and down below. I guess the other door goes on the same way as this door. And I was looking to see if there was a top and a bottom to this. <laughs> Moral of the story is read the instructions and follow the pictures, huh? All these crazy arrows or these little lines make my brain go in circles. I guess that's the idea. Exciting moment. It only took me 30 seconds to put this door on. <laughs> Making up for lost time. All right, it's the handles with the teeny weeny screws. And I think we're going to call it a day for this storage cabinet. And the reason I'm doing this all in a vertical um, versus a landscape is because I thought I was going to do this in shorts and they're supposed to only be a minute. So, but you know me, once I get started here, I'm really stoked. And I will show you more of this when I do an organization series. All right, guys, blessings in your day. Joy in all your projects. And joy in the journey. I will not be sending this back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if it doesn't fit my needs someday, I'll just sell it. But there's no way I'm taking this apart and putting it back in the box. But you never know. That's why I took it carefully out of the box. The ta-da moment. And one of my favorite things is my magnets are going to hang on here. It's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. All right, guys, on a scale of one to 10, in putting this together, mm, probably 10 being the easiest, I would say it's like an eight. But for me, it was like a five. <laughs> Operator errors by not paying attention to the instructions and being able to understand the photos. I have plenty of the doors open nicely with like two inches left here. So I may leave the desk exactly where it is, but you're gonna have to stay tuned for open houses and organization and all kinds of fun things coming up. All right, that was your one more thing for the day. Oh, and the handles, they took uh, about five minutes. It was teeny weeny screws and I dropped them like five times. <laughs> and I had to bank this against the wall in order to get it nice and tight without fussing with it. And I made a little indentation here. Oh well, I guess that's what spackling and touch-ups for, right? Oopsies. Later.